Martin Coons, thank you very much for speaking to us this afternoon ahead of the Buckham Fair. I just want to start by asking you why you decide to put on this event. Um, we sort of put it on, you know, because we can in a way, because we, we bought these two fields after we bought the whole farm and we'd always wanted to buy a field when we used to live in a village and we couldn't find one or even rent one to put a pony in and then suddenly we got all this and then these two very, very flat, very high up, beautiful uh, fields came up for sale so it was, you know, we just had to. That is a jackawawa, And it's, it's quite a good use of this... Um, fame that I find I have <laughs> um, as a byproduct of my job. Oh, I see, on the tail as well. No, and it's so local, it's sort of become, they're, they're, they're loading up the straw here. The first year, I suddenly had no straw for everyone to sit on, so I went on a local radio station and I said, has anybody got any straw? And a man called Chris Baggs from near Dorchester got in touch with me and said, I've got a bit of straw you can have. And you're also one of the judges this year, I understand. You're judging the novelty dog contest. What will you be looking for? Oh, I mean, you know, if it's, if, it's, if it's blind or if it's in a wheelchair, it'll get a cup. Uh, if it's missing a leg or something, it'll always get a cup, yes. <laughs> so, Doc, you gave up your life in London and a career as a top surgeon. A vascular specialist. To be our GP here in sleepy old Port Wen. Yes. Yes, Caroline. I'll just move on to Doc Martin now. Obviously, all of our viewers will be wanting to know, can you reveal anything that's going to happen in Series 6? There's a very lovely wedding um, right at the beginning, which affords enough time for it to go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, the wedding doesn't go wrong. It's a lovely wedding. We had um, about 180 extras, which is like Ben-Hur for us. It's the, the most we've ever had. We've completely filled the church. Um, but the honeymoon is not quite so smooth. And how was um, Doc Martin's mood at the wedding, would you say? Uh, puzzled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Jim! Well, Jim, that's so wrong. <laughs> oh, come here. What will people think? <laughs> We're not that sort of family. <laughs> mm. You need to take plenty of fluids, and I'll write you a prescription for some rehydration salts. And when you're feeling better, why don't you come and see me? We can talk about the treatments available for your acne. What acne? I have to ask, in the papers a week ago, um, there was a story about you stopping a surgeon taking out your wife's appendix. Is there any truth in that? No, there's nothing in it, really. I mean, Philip did get ill, but no, that was a, it was a rather silly journalist made that up, and then every single newspaper picked it up. I don't see why they didn't think it was ridiculous that I would take her, take her home and operate on her myself. Uh, yeah, no, I've, I've picked up no medicine. Don't try this at home. Check for stray swabs and stitch her up. We're done. Didn't take too long either. It's not even eight yet. Great! Still got time to kill myself. 